Hello everyone, uh, thank you for coming Raccoon TV. Today, I will let you know how to migrate SQL data from SQL Server 2012 to 2016. Uh, currently, uh, the SQL Server 2012 is installed on my computer, Windows 10, and the other SQL Server 2016 is installed on the other Windows Server 2012. I'm gonna connect to that via remote desktop later. There are two ways you can migrate data. First one is attach. Using the attach feature in the SQL, you can migrate data to the new server. If you need to know how to install a SQL Server 2012, please refer to the recording on the top that I uploaded before. I'm showing that how to detach and attach database to the new server. If you are looking for the migration way using backup and restore methods, then please click on the backup and restore link at the end of the, this video. And I'm going to go uh, management studio and log in with the SQL ID and password. Make sure no uh, SQL default ID is SA. And uh, be aware of your data engine name, instance name here, test. And close it down. And we gotta get to SQL data file location. Go program files and Windows SQL Server, MS SQL 11. MS SQL data and test and test log file. Those files are your SQL data file. So make sure remember this location. And I'm gonna jump to Windows Server 2012, which is uh, SQL 2016 in it. The Windows Server 2012 server name is Server 2012. So connect, connect, and then uh, type the password and hit OK. Yes. Then now uh, you are in the Windows Server 2012. So I'm gonna take the database files to the save folder in 2012 server here. This is uh, your desktop C drive. If you cannot see this C drive folder, then exit out to the your original desktop and then get to the remote desktop again. Go show option and local resource and more and check the drives. You need to check the checkbox, those two checkbox and then connect, connect. and I will get to Windows Server 2012 again. I'm getting to Windows 12 Server back. I'm getting to uh, Data File folder again to take a, take to a saved folder, save folder. So go to the program files and Microsoft SQL Server and MS SQL Server 11 MS SQL and Data and then those two files test and test log as you know this location is my desktop computer not Windows Server 
So copy those files to this Windows 2012 temp folder. I'm gonna delete existing one and let me paste here. Uh, this error message happened to come up sometimes. Um, it's kind of a permission error. So if you have a, this error message, then you need to go back to your desktop computer and go to the original folder data file location and go to property and security advanced and configure your permission. Click add, click select, and type down everyone here and check name. Okay, and then click the pull access, pull control. And then OK. Apply. OK. And you need to go test log and put the same configuration for policy here. And go back to Windows Server 2012 again. And I'm going to get to the data file location again. So now I'm going to try copy and paste one more time on the temp folder. Oh, another error message. Uh, this is a about the SQL running on the desktop computer. Okay, go back to the desktop and then uh, open the SQL and disconnect the SQL and exit out. And then go back to the server 2012 and paste here uh, the same error. I think uh, I need to go back to uh, desktop computer. I'm sorry guys, I went to and back, back and forth several times. I found the reason why it's not save and paste there. It was a hold on the previous SQL database engine instance. So I open up uh, SQL 2012 on my desktop computer and then log in and open up database and test go to task and take offline here and check OK then now your database engine instance is uh, discontinued so now finally your database file is free and I came back to server 2012 and I'm going to copy those files and paste back to a temp, temp folder and first I need to go desktop PC SQL database folder data folder and test and log file uh, let me copy those file and I'm going to take those file to temp folder and paste here okay finally uh, it was uh, moved to the temp folder 
on the sub 2012 and next step is uh, going to go Microsoft SQL Server Management tool and log in the SQL and now I'm going to attach the database file that I moved to the temp folder and go database and right click attach and add find your database file in temp folder you probably see a test mdef file so uh, if you open all files then you can also see uh, the log file too but the data fi database file is md file so click md file and ok and then check those two files is correct and ok then now the database file has been migrated to SQL 2016 from 2012. You can see the uh, default value, those table. Okay, I showed you how to migrate database file from SQL 2012 to 2016 through a attach method. So next time I'm gonna show you how to migrate SQL database file through a backup and restore method. So if you wanna watch SQL database migration video using the backup and restore, please click left and bottom side video. Thank you for watching today and see you next time.